Okay, this is a tutorial on how to install the Cisco uh, VPN client on Windows 10. I'll include links to everything below. Um, this is just a quick list here of everything that needs uh, to be installed. The first thing is before you try to install this little workaround, you have to make sure you have uninstalled any uh, Cisco VPN software. And then once everything's uninstalled, follow this instructions here. So. First thing is you have to download the My Sonic Wall. It's a Dell app. There's a 64-bit and a 32-bit. Most of us will have a 30, uh, sorry, the 64-bit. I've already uh, downloaded it, so I'll go ahead and install it now. And I'm just going to select all the defaults. Okay, now I'll close the app. I'm not going to... Um, select any of these options. I'm just going to hit and close and then I'm going to reboot. Okay, I've now rebooted after installing the uh, Dell Sonic Wall. The next thing I'm going to do now is install the Cisco VPN client, but uh, I'm going to do it a little tricky here. So what I'm going to do is uh, this is the client that I've downloaded. Again, uh, the link is below. Uh, one thing to note about the Cisco client is that Cisco no longer offers it as an official download. So you have to find it through a Google search, whatever. I found mine uh, uh, through a Google search and the website was asc.edu, which is, a, I'm sure, some sort of a college. Uh, this isn't an official endorsement or anything like that, but I'll put the link there and if it quits working, I'll put another link. Anyway, so I'm going to, this is it, this is the file that's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click it and run it. I'm going to say, ask me where do I want to install it. I'm going to actually install it, uh, uh, I'm sorry, unzip it to my desktop. So I will run uh, unzip. It'll say unzipped and then it's going to say it failed. Down here, can't run on this PC. That's just fine. Now, all the files have downloaded to my desktop. What it was trying to run is the VPN client setup.exe file here. But instead, I'm going to run this file, VPN client setup.msi. So I'll go ahead and run that. Use all the defaults. That's the longest one second ever. This is when my girlfriend says I just need one second. That's how long it takes. Okay, so we'll finish the install. Now we need one more thing. Now what's gonna happen is uh, if the Cisco client will now run, so we see the VPN client has been installed. So we'll go ahead and run the client. And I'm going to import a certificate I happen to have from one of my clients. I'm gonna blur it out obviously for their uh, privacy. So now it's been imported. So now I'll go ahead and try to connect. And as I connect, I get it uh, reason 442 failure. Now the fix for this is a registry fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my uh, Cisco VPN client. I'm gonna go to the uh, start menu and I'm gonna type in the word reg edit. Now some people already know how to use the registry editor, but just for the benefit of anybody who doesn't, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, there it is. Now you want to be really careful with the regedit, and you only want to change this specific uh, key. And so we're going to navigate to, I'm going to put this up here, and this down here. So this is where we're going to navigate to, an H key, local machine, system current control set services c vert a and i'm just going to type it in c v i there it is and under here there's a display name now just double click that it opens up your editor and right now this is the old uh key that was in there i had already copied it make sure that you copy this, copy and paste this into a text file somewhere. It's just to have it, just in case you anything goes wrong. 
So the new key is just the Cisco Systems VF Beam Adapter for 64 Windows. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in. Hit OK. Close my registry editor. Run VPN again. And this time when I try to connect, it will work. Client happens to have confirmation. And now in my key here, you can see that I am connected. So there's my disconnect option, connect, I am connected. All right, hope this has been useful. Links are below. Uh, like it and share this as you will. And I uh, just did this, I didn't see any good videos out there. So hope you enjoy.